our special presentation, Amaze 2010, an exclusive peek into the three-day annual festival of the IIPM. Now, when I talk about a business school, you guys must be thinking that I'm going to talk about the mundane, boring, nerdy stuff. No, guys, you're in for a treat as I'm all set to take you through Amaze 2010. So get set to be amazed. The word management acquires a completely different meaning at IIPM. Here, books take a back seat while interaction and engagement with ideas become important pedagogical tools. It is with this philosophy that the institute has been training its students to become the leaders of tomorrow. Calling them the new generation of entrepreneurial managers. With 18 state-of-the-art campuses across India, IIPM is vying for the top spot amongst other management institutes by promoting innovation as the key to success. An embodiment of this endeavour is AMAZE, the Institute's annual cultural festival, an unmatched showcasing of creativity and innovation. Students from different colleges of India come together and compete on a common platform, each contending to be a leader with the power to change the world. AMAZE is uh, it's basically about uh, consistently whatever students have learned in the classroom that is it's about putting it in the practical use uh, the best part of amaze uh, the most uh, amazing part about amaze is where uh, you know the enormous energy that the campus exudes and uh, also the synergy that uh, that one gets to see between faculties and students while working for this one event we want it to be quite democratic and uh, it is a quite democratic event where it is completely meant for the students by the students uh, most satisfying is to see them where uh, they make use of um, uh, theory into practice this year amaze 2010's theme the power of one signifies the strength an individual possesses Amaze 2010 is a celebration and an invocation of this part of the individual as drivers of positive change. The spirit to make a difference. And in sync with this powerful theme, various management events were witnessed in three days of competing, learning and winning. Events like Indie X Factor, Yin of Yang and the Graffiti Competition tested students for their creative skills. With management being the key focus, students were seen putting their views forward in the clash of the titans, penning their thoughts in the creative writing competition and displaying their management skills in AdZap. For the more adventurous at heart, the festival organized El Dorado, the Great Gold Rush. But the real crowd pullers were the singing and choreography competitions at the festival. Don't be surprised, I'm not in one of the bylanes of London. I am in IIPM where creativity has got a new lease of life. Graffiti in the Italian context means the joy of thinking big. And that is exactly what the students of IIPM have done by thinking out of the box. Be it painting their thoughts or walking the ramp, whatever they do, they do it in style. Dimension, direction, color, confusion, contestants. A lot to manage in too little time. But the real art of management is efficiency, which was clearly visible at the wall art competition at Amaze 2010. Students from IIPM's organizing committee took charge of the situation, not letting pressure and the overload of contestants dampen their spirits. As we know, Graffiti is not just an art, it's more of a culture. So let's celebrate it by spraying the walls with the power of one. While each group was to have three members, they had 45 minutes to project their vision through colours and creativity. While some students chose the safer route of playing with text, others were at their innovative best. Red, green, blue, black were seen dominating the large palette. The room was full of graffitis expressing the power of one. But the contestants at Amaze had a lot more to offer.
setting the ramp on fire with their attitude and poise with the front runners from six colleges across India. Hot Couture, the fashion show contest at a maze, definitely lived up to its name. And why not? As the jury comprised of ace designers Manav Gangwani and Nandita Basu, probably on the lookout for future ramp stunners. So while the crowd was thoroughly enjoying the fashion show, backstage the contestants were equally excited and thrilled. What's the what's the theme for your um, whole round? Seven, seven sins. Seven sins. Seven sins. All right. Starting from here, let me ask each one of you one sin you would like to commit in your life. I think I would go for envy because I would like to check out the other side of the world also. Maybe pride. I like to see all the beauty in the world. One last cheer for your team before it goes up on stage. Yeah. Seven Sins, a tempting theme that was executed really well by the host team. But giving them tough competition was the team from Maitri College. With sleek designs and a confident ramp walk, they exuded style and class and were adjudged the crowd favourites along with the team from IIPM. The evening followed with a contest to hunt for the most popular face in the three-day festival. Mr. and Miss Amaze 2010, the event that was the most sought after, as it was time to choose the king and the queen. Spontaneity was a key factor for the judges, but the wide spectrum of talent showcased was a delight for the crowds, cheering for their favourites. So if you guys thought that was an overdose of creativity, let me tell you, there's a lot more in store, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. People's management is an important vertical in any MBA student's life and the students of IIPM got an opportunity to test that talent. With over 50 colleges, thousands of students and loads of logistics, the task was getting tougher by the minute. So I thought why not catch up with the backstage heroes and find out what it takes to actually organize an event at such a big scale. Uh, welcome guys. Let me start off by asking you loads of logistics a lot of time a lot of grilling how long did it take you guys to actually event and endless meetings see it's something that we've always believed that uh, the student community what we have has always been very active uh, they've taken up the responsibilities well uh, there have been maddening times when a couple of times i've shouted on them as well but yes they've taken up and they've realized that because uh, if somebody is into the entire work, day and night, then a person is ready to listen to you and he or she feels and takes up the thing as his or her equal responsibility. So with that respect, the students I work with have been extremely smart and probably the best any management school could have. How much of a tension is it organizing an event at this stage? I mean, were you guys up for endless nights? Were you here forever? What was it like? Yes, we have been working really hard uh, day and night preparing say posters be it posters be it uh, designs be it calling different different colleges at different different hours for that matter we have been working really hard and it's like it's a first hand experience obviously because it's same as learning how you learn a guitar you can't just do the theory part of it you have to do the practical part of it We're talking about a guitar so you guys are trying to tell me that you learned the theory You've learned how to play it, but what about the string if it breaks? Crisis management. How are you prepared for last minute hiccups? There are a lot of uh, last minute crises and everybody is ready for it. I would narrate an incident wherein we had to promote an event and I, I mean the last, uh, there was a band wala who was supposed to come and he goofed up. At 12 o'clock he gives a call to us and he says that he is not coming. I went out of the college and we were looking for uh, band wala people in the marriages going on nearby. So it's not just us, it's, it's everybody who was a part of this event has worked a lot and has made this possible. Alright, thank you guys. The power of one, that is what IIPM believes in and that is exactly what we got to see in Amaze 2010 as the focus was not only on the creative and fun aspect but also on personality development. My name is Akhil Mahajan and I am part of the campus from Jammu University. 26-year-old Akhil is a final year student of MBA at IIPM. 
Like other aspirants, he also decided to take the litmus test. What is it that you're trying to talk about? You're saying that I'm incompetent. I don't matter sales. Sitting in front of the jury comprising of industry veterans, the tension on his face was quite evident. After all, he was sitting for the stress interview. The most difficult round of a unique competition at Amaze 2010 called 360 Degree The Best Manager. It's a one-of-a-kind managerial event where students have to go through various grilling rounds in order to prove themselves. The idea, however, is to test if they have the right aptitude and the attitude to become a manager. With 60 candidates up for the coveted title and an experienced jury on the mission to test these young MBAs, the competition was undoubtedly tough. But the bigger the challenge, the better are the results, as the winner gets an all-expense-paid trip to the USA and, of course, the unmatched recognition amongst fellow counterparts. I participated in the Best Manager event just because of the feeling that uh, I'm here pursuing MBA and IRPM just for the reason to become a very good manager. And when I think the people who have not participated in this event, they, I think, have lost many things which I have achieved. And just even, even though if I, haven't, I have not won this, I would have made a mark just because I participated in it. Welcome to the Clash of the Titans, the debate challenge for May 2010. All these boundaries will be erased, they will lose the identity. As is well known, an MBA's prowess is incomplete without excellent oratory and presentation skills. The debate competition at Amaze filled the void. There were over 60 students who came forward to debate on the topic One Earth, One Boundary, One Governance. A multipolar world where we are independent, not just because we want to be independent, but because we need to be. The jury members seemed pretty impressed with the turnout and were of an opinion that such student competitions act as a training ground to groom future leaders. These are mind sports and uh, the reason why people get jobs is because they're good at these mind sports. So it tells students about how they are with their communicative abilities, uh, with interpreting uh, facts and uh, concepts and uh, most of all it tells students that here's where they stand with respect to the competition around them and uh, here's what they can do about helping those around them to grow up or uh, grow stronger. It's because they have come up and it's because they have decided that I don't fear. A major attraction of the three-day fest was a seminar addressed by Arindam Chaudhary, the Dean of IIPM, who shared his vision on the power of one. Present on the occasion was media baron Tarun Tejpal, amongst other eminent guests. And the peasantry of this country has been exploited and suppressed for hundreds of years. It was only befitting that the seminar, which witnessed some of the finest speakers exchange ideas, culminated in a grand ceremony to honor real-life heroes with the coveted Silver Phoenix title. Mrs. Neelam Kajara. Be it fighting for their rights or standing up for a cause, they have done it all by themselves embodying the power of their spirit to bring about a change. And it was perhaps this act of recognizing the unmatched contribution of these real-life heroes that would make this year's annual festival at IIPM go down in history books. Time for us to slip into a short break. After the break, we'll speak to the man himself, Arindam Chaudhary, and talk to him about his vision of the power of one. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, it is often said that something which is started off as a dream by forefathers is often taken forward by the children and made into a success. IIPM, an institute which started off as a proposal in the year 1963 by Dr. M. K. Chaudhary, was made into a huge success by Professor and Dean of the Institute, his son Arindam Chaudhary. Welcome Professor uh, Chaudhary. I've often heard you say this, that success comes in life in two ways, once in dreams and once in reality. Is that one of the reasons and one of the main uh, ways that you have turned this huge uh, institute into a great success? You're absolutely right. If you don't dream, you don't achieve. And, um, you know, from childhood, of course, there was a dream to be successful. And, but I never wanted to be associated with the institute because I understood nothing about the institute. But yes, I saw my dad toil, work hard and be so passionate. So when I joined IAPM, 
that's when I realized what its worth was. And while trying to be a teacher or a better teacher or reaching out more students, I think IIPM um, changed automatically. Talking about inspirational things, Amaze 2010, your annual business uh, school festival, um, it believes it has an ideology of the power of one. Where did that come from? The idea this time was that there are a lot of individuals who have single-handedly made a difference to the society. And, uh, and uh, the idea was to promote it throughout the Amaze and end up amazed with a seminar on the same concept. But your festival, Amaze 2010, was quite different in those aspects where they did have that seriousness, but also a fun and creative aspect to it. So how do you think that that helps in uh, today's scenario? Throughout IIPM's course, this fun and creativity keeps running. In fact, one of the reasons why I would say that students flock to IIPM is because of the extremely friendly environment, you know. It's very, very interactive. Students are made to constantly present in this, inside the class because, because I think management is so much about expressing yourself. My last question to you is IIPM, 10 years from now, where do you see your institute? I, I hope to be there in uh, the uh, global rankings of top 20 B schools. We are really working towards that. Um, IIPM is setting up branches abroad. And uh, we want to take our philosophy global. Uh, we are, what um, we have tried to achieve in India, we want to do it globally. Thank you, Professor Chaudhary. It was a really nice talking to you and thank you for your precious time. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. So, Amaze 2010 has tried to bring students from all over the country onto one platform to sculpt better leaders for tomorrow. And that being successfully done, the leaders also need some time off the hook. And there's no better way to do that than listening to some music. Music and dance have been categorized as the most beautiful art form ever invented and a festival is incomplete without it. Surprisingly, it seemed that the God-gifted talent had all come together on the stage of Amaze 2010. Innovation dominated the stage yet again, with perfectly synchronized choreography and some stunning acrobatics displayed by dancers hailing from 10 colleges across India. And belting out high notes or strumming the romantic strings, the participants in the singing competition presented some mind-blowing performances. But the crowd went berserk when the star performer of the evening took center stage. Mohit Chauhan, the man with the golden voice, was surely in a mood to groove. While the crowd was left asking for more, Mohit made sure that the grand event at IIPM culminates in style. Once again, living up to the vision of the institution that it isn't about winning or losing, but all about having the sense of being the best. Oh, I'm gonna get